Hey guys, welcome back. So, um, today we are going back to solve some Kofos problems. Um, how maybe you can see, I have changed a little bit of my setup here. Um, I'm now using a Jupyter Notebook um, and I have a little bit of music in the background. Um, please just let me know if you like it or not. And so, we'll just start with our um, Kofos problem. Um, we'll look today on the soldiers and bananas problem. Um, it uh, has a rating of 800, so it's uh, something for beginners, but yeah, let's just start. So, um, soldier and banana. Soldiers wants to buy them bananas in the shop. He has to pay K dollars for the first banana and K dollars for the second one, and so on. In other words, he has to pay I K dollars for the I banana. He has N dollars. How many dollars does he have to borrow from his friend soldier to buy W bananas? Input. The first line contains three positive integers, K and W. The cost of first banana and the number of dollars the soldier has and number of bananas he wants. Output. Uh, output one inch, the amount of dollars that the soldier must borrow from his friend. If he doesn't have to borrow money, output is zero. Okay. So, let's start and write all the informations we have here. Um, yes, so there is the number of bananas. Um, K is cost of banana and N is the money of the soldier. So, and the output should be the borrowed money of the soldier. Okay. So, I think we can start with our algorithm. What do we need to do? So first of all, we have to read our input. Um, that means input, and we have to split it in the integers um, with k as cost of first banana with n money solar and with w bananas what are the number of bananas units. Okay, so now we have our input. Um, so now the interesting thing is we have to See how high the costs for the bananas are, and the costs uh, get the costs, and the costs are one times k plus two times k plus plus w times k. Okay, so we have to sum this up. Um, I think it's it's easy to see that we need a loop in here. So then, what we have to um, output is the money that is borrowed. How do we get the money that is borrowed? The money borrowed are the costs minus the money of the soldier, so minus n. Um, we just have to be careful here with this last information. If it, uh, he doesn't have to borrow money, I'll put zero. So that means um, if borrowed is smaller than zero, that means borrow must be zero. And then we have to output borrowed. 
Okay, so I would say we can start with our coding here. So first of all, okay, M and W are, we have to read M. So we want to read input and split it. Um, split means here that we split in the white space, so we get to 3, the 17, and the 4. Um, if we do it like this, we get some strings, but we want um, integers, and we want uh, to make every uh, item uh, there as an integer. That means we need a map function, and there we take the input function and our input here, and so we get uh, three values um, for k, n, and w. Now we have to sum up our costs. Um, make here variable is initialized with a zero. And now we make a loop um, for range. We start with one, and there we need w plus one. Um, so that we integrate w. Normally the range um, does not integrate uh, w, so we have to uh, go one higher. And the costs are the costs plus items k. Okay, this should be it. Now we have to uh, that the borrow, borrowed money is it's cost minus n. Uh, if borrowed is minus zero, uh, is zero. And now we have to print the borrowed. Oh, I think this should be it. Let's test it. So we have an input here 3, so we have 4, and we have an output of 30. Okay, so I think that's it. Let's just submit it. And it was accepted. Nice. So, this was the soldiers and banana problem. Thank you for being with me. Um, if you have any questions, feel free to that comment there. Um, if you like it, tell me. If you don't like it, uh, tell me too. Uh, tell me what you think about the music. Tell me what you think about the format. Um, I appreciate every feedback. Thank you and see you.